So at the beginning of the third action round, all American soldiers become aware by this time. So they've all signaled each other or gotten each other's attention or heard the shots and figured out something. It wasn't just random gunfire in the area, but that their soldiers are involved. So now we're going to roll for a random event. And we roll and get a 13. And we'll look that event up. Okay. Random event 13 is 578. So we'll look up paragraph 578, which says... If S2 has not occurred, see 737. Well, S2 has not occurred, so let's look at 737. I uh, just want to check here. All right. Uh, yep, 737. So 737 says, S2 happens. Activate German 60 in hex 014, crouching, and commence rounds. Of course, we're already in rounds, so that isn't really relevant. So sighting 2 and German 60 in hex 014. So German 60, find his card. Uh, oops. Okay, so he is another sentry. Well, that's interesting. And, uh, okay, so we get another sentry. And um, he is W. So we'll find the marker here for W. Crouching in O14. O14 is here. Whoa! Whoa, that was a shocker. Yikes! And let's see. Uh, oh, we need to figure out his initiative is a 2. So we need to find the marker for W that shows a 2 initiative. Let's see. should be over here somewhere. But it may be difficult to find. Okay, here we are. So, marker W, you know, of a new German in, in play. By the way, one thing I didn't point out earlier is that whenever a German is activated, uh, we get victory points for whatever is shown on their card. So, for example, we get one for this machine gunner, one for this machine gunner, one for this sentry and one for the other sentry whom we killed. So over here on victory points, I have to mark us up with a total of four so far. These are basically in addition to other kinds of victory points we can get. And uh, I do a terrible job writing left-handed, but I think I can make out that that's a four. Okay, so that basically means that the more of the Germans in the scenario that you encounter, at least you get some uh, compensation for having to deal with more of them. So, uh, so another German is here. Now, let's see. Uh, it looks like I have several people who can see him, although he is uh, crouched in the brush. So hopefully we'll get the initiative and be able to do something this round. So the event uh, that occurred was what caused him to uh, wake up and uh, get into the action. They'll be rolling to see for the round what our various initiative numbers are. And the Germans get a four and the Americans get an eight. So once again we get the jump on the Germans. That's great. So uh, eight in the advantage side, eight in the advantage side, possible panic, eight here, no problem there. Eight here, no problem there. Eight here, no problem there. So H and F are subject to panic. So F is right here underneath uh, Anderson. There's Fortson. So he's great because he's in range of Fortson. H is here. Now we might be in trouble here because H has, well, let's see, H has an initiative of two 
and Bastinelli, who is within range of him, has an initiative of three. So whew, luckily, they total up to five, so Henderson does not panic. Now the Germans, uh, they rolled a four. So let's see where they end up. Oh, here's another American, uh, Eaton. Eaton's within range of Anderson, so he's not going to panic. So they rolled a four, so there's W there. This guy here, this guy here. Oh, great. We're acting ahead of them in two rounds. So if I had been ready to run up there with the satchel charge, that would have been perfect. Uh, unfortunately, I may or may not be able to pull that off at this point. So let's see. Uh, Anderson and Eaton and Henderson and Fordson all have uh, the opportunity to move twice. So, what can we do? Well, it certainly seems like someone should be taking a shot at uh, the German Sentry W here. And uh, beyond that, I don't know if I can pull off an attack on the pillbox. Now would be a great time to do it if I could pull it off. Now, Eaton actually, uh, well, he can get close. Uh, he's unfortunately not going to be able to get right next to it. He could stand up move one, two, three, and be within one, two, three hexes and have a chance to try to throw the satchel charge. Uh, let's see, uh, let me check what the satchel charge will do if I just try to throw it into the hex and not try to throw it through an opening, which probably makes the throw a lot harder. Okay, so I checked on the rules and um, the satchel charge will only destroy the bunker if it's placed inside the bunker. And unfortunately, I don't have a way to uh, uh, get adjacent to the bunker where I can just drop it in the window and automatically succeed. So what I've decided to do is have Eaton, uh, first he's going to, uh, on his first action, he'll take a free stance change to stand up. And we're going to try something heroic here. He's going to move... He's going to try to move one, two, three, four, and then throw a hand, prepare and throw a grenade, which he can do all in one action, and then fall prone. That's going to be his plan. Uh, he's going to have to try to throw the grenade through a window of the bunker. He could try the same thing with a satchel charge, but he would have uh, even less chances of success than he's going to have with the grenade. So I figure I'm going to throw the grenade, hopefully wound or incapacitate those guys, and then I'll step up and drop the satchel charge in next time I get a chance. So we move to his first move standing is to K12 and we'll see if anything extra happens there. Uh, S3 so that's already happened. Then J12 and it says paragraph 762. Uh-oh. What's that going to do? I'm really expecting something here, but it's probably something to do with the pilt with the uh, bunker. 762. If S0 and S3 have not occurred, see 727. But they have. If S3 has occurred, see 574. And um, S3 has occurred, so we go to 574. 574 says. Conduct activation check minus one. If successful, see 725. So we'll conduct an activation check at a minus one. And the Germans currently need a uh, zero through five to be successful. So zero through four. And, oops, sorry, they rolled a five. So they did not succeed on the activation check. So, uh, since they were not successful, uh, we do not have to move on there, so apparently nothing happens. Uh, and now uh, we move on to I-13. And 7-63. If S6, S0, and S3 have not occurred, C730. Uh, well, some of them have occurred. Uh, so we continue. If we, we haven't had S6 yet, 
but we did uh, have S4, and I do need to mark that off. That was the uh, that was the other German sentry we just found. So let me make sure I do have that marked. Sighting four has occurred. Okay, so anyways, uh, let's see. If S0 and S3 have not occurred, uh, well, but they have. If S6 and F0 has not occurred, well, S0 has occurred. If S0 has not occurred, if S3 has not occurred, if S6 has not occurred, see 760. So we need to go to 760. And 760 says, S6. Oh, no. No. Activate German 73 in hex E13, crouching. So, uh, German 73 in hex E13. All right, so that is another sentry. And he is German Q. Let's see, here he is crouching in E13. Yikes! Okay, here, yep, that makes sense. He just got a line of sight on me there. Wonderful. Wasn't expecting that. And let's see, Q. Well, first of all, he gives me a victory point for activating. So we'll mark off another victory point here. Okay. And then, uh, what's his initiative rating? Initiative of 1. So Q with an initiative of 1. And uh, I don't think he gets to take an action this round. I'll check that in just a second. Meanwhile, I should mark off E because he's been doing things. He still has uh, one movement point left that he can do this round. So he will... Uh... Damn. It's not good. I'm not liking this. He's, he's in serious trouble from, from this guy Q. Uh... Well, what do I do? If I pull back, I can, uh, I'd be able to get out of sight of him. Wasn't exactly my plan. Um, wow. Was not counting on that. Uh, and then I'd have to use my next move to move away further. Um, well, let me just check if he's going to get any actions this round. Okay, I checked and it says to roll a new number and place him based on that number, still paying attention to German advantage or disadvantage as previously determined. So we roll a 9. So he is going to go here. Okay. Now, the problem is, what do I do with Eaton and his plan to do something heroic? <laughs> 